so much. This is a very special night for me, a very emotional night for me. And uh, <clears throat> it's been a long journey. I first came to America in late August 1970 to the City of Angels. And I played a club called the Troubadour Club. Which thankfully is still there. Uh, I went to see it a couple of weeks ago. And it was so much smaller than I remembered it. Uh, but it still has that magic about it. And it helped me. Uh, the review by Robert Helpman in the LA Times helped me get started much quicker than I normally would have done in this country. And I had an album out at the time called Elton John, and a single from the album called Border Song. Now, at the same time as we released our single, Aretha Franklin covered the song and put her version out. And of course, Bernie and I, being songwriters, little songwriters from England, young English kids, were gobsmacked and absolutely thrilled to bits and moved by the fact that the Queen of Soul had deigned to cover one of our songs. It was one of the most magical moments of our lives. And through the years I got to meet her and thank her and sing with her, record with her, play with her and hang with her. And she was just magnificent. And the last concert she ever did was in New York City at the St. John Divine, the cathedral, and it was for the Elton John AIDS Foundation. And she was very sick. It was about six months before she passed away, and she was this thin. And before the show, I went backstage and said, Aretha, you're so frail, let me do the show for you. And she said, two years ago, I was supposed to do this show, and I canceled, I'm not letting you down again. And she came out and sat at the piano like this one, with an amazing band, and for an hour and 20 minutes, raised the roof off of the cathedral. It was mind-blowing. It was as if she was getting some divine help from the cathedral. But those of us that were there, 1,500 people, will never ever forget the brilliance of that evening. So I want to dedicate this song to the lasting legacy and genius of Aretha Franklin.